we're here today at a time trial with Southern Road Runners Club, just kind of flying around in the mud and really enjoying ourselves. A lot of people go to pay and play sites where you just drive around the site but then you get bored because you're always doing the same circuit and you never really push yourself. This way there's a, a means to an end, there's actually sort of uh, something at the end of it and you're, you're sort of competing against other people and seeing what other people can do uh, on the same bit of ground and, and maybe it's a bit of ground that you maybe not would want to drive otherwise. I think it's kind of the thing which kind of gets under your skin. They're a good road car as well, but you can also build a special car like this and just get out there and have a bit of fun. It's a, it's a good budget motorsport. My parents got me into it from about the age of two, so I've been coming to events for 20 years now. I think part of it's the noise, part of it's the culture. We're all sort of trying to be a very friendly group. It's a good laugh. A lot of decent people about, a lot of friends. They're a really good crowd. Anyone to help you out, if you have a problem, everybody will be around the car trying to help you out with it. This is my beauty. This is a, a present four years ago and we've kind of rebuilt it and, and done a few modifications to it here and there. I'd say that Dad's definitely the, uh, the senior mechanic and I'm very much a spanner monkey who has to uh, slowly learn, still learning. Yeah, I've got uh, this one, which is we're doing a time trial today, but I've also got another one for doing ordinary trials. Because they're so long lasting, you get you do get attached to them. If you've had one for a long time, you do get attached to it. A lot of people grow up with them. There's a lot of them out there. Everybody sees them. They're just a little bit different to everything else. The iconic British vehicle, everybody's in it for different reasons. Some people want to modify them and put lots of blingy bits on and other people just like the off-roading. Some people never take them off-road. So it's, it's different for everything. And they're so adaptable. Everything's bolt on and you can just so easily change them into what you want it to be. started a long time ago when I was in the TA. I used to obviously uh, drive a lot of Land Rovers for that. And then when I left the TA, was, something was missing. Um, so that's, that's sort of what led it into it for me. Just adventure, I think. You, you're not really limited, only by your own imagination. It's just the, the way they're built. They're just so sturdy and bomb-proof and they're, they're just so strong underneath. It's, you can't break them. It's going to be a bit of a demise. It'd be interesting to see what they replace it with, whether they can keep the icon going. But it's going to be a long time before you actually see the fenders disappear, I think, because they're so repairable. You just very rarely scrap one. No matter what you do to it, you can always find enough bits to put it back on the road, relatively cheaply as well.